What's going on guys, Juice Messy here and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to the ratings refresh video today because at this point in time, we know it's definitely happening or starting today because EA have tweeted and uh, it's also actually a panel now on FIFA Ultimate Team. Now we've got no idea how this is going to work this year because obviously last year on FIFA 17 we had upgrades and downgrades. Um, so far the indication on FIFA 18 is that we're not going to get downgrades or so that could be completely wrong. But at the moment, the image they're using is only an up point in Green Arrow. But we'll talk about them more throughout the video. So before we get started, as always, if you enjoy the video, show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, make sure to press the subscribe button for more and press the notifications tab next to it to receive an alert every single time I upload a video. If you missed my previous video, it'll be down below in the description box. And today's question of the day in the comment section, what players are you hoping to see today get a ratings refresh? And the tweet from EA would have been on your screen already, but it's basically the ratings refresh logo and send tomorrow the eyes emoji hashtag for hashtag ratings refresh and on the console itself switch over now to it um in the bottom right hand corner it says get ready ratings refresh starts february 23rd at 6 p.m utc and it also has a pack design on there so obviously players come out in packs but the main thing about ratings refresh for me is how the informed cards and special cards actually get boosted and what we're doing today is going through 23 different players I've chosen from head to head that have all got upgrades right now. Obviously, it doesn't mean they'll be exactly the same on Ultimate Team, but most of the time, last like few years or so, they've pretty much gone exactly to the door to the head to head upgrades. Now, because I've narrowed it down to 23 players, of course, there'll be a lot of big players missing. Um, you get my point, I'll try choosing the best ones possible. But let's get started. So the very first player is considered the best goalkeeper in the world right now. It's understandable why as well, being a David De Gea from Manchester United. Almo has got a 90 rated card on FIFA Ultimate Team as well as a 91 in form, a 92 second in form, and a 97 team there, which I have actually got in my current team. Hopefully, uh, that gets boosted as well. But on head to head right now, he's a 91. His head down side stats, the diving, handling, and kicking have stayed the exact same, but he's got plus two reflexes, plus one speed, and plus two positioning. And basically off previous years, if he does go to a 91, I'm pretty sure his first in form goes to a 92, second in form to a 93, and it potentially because of the stat changes his team of the year, it could go to a 98, but that's not confirmed. Then we've got Joshua Kimmich, who right now is currently an 81 rated right back on ultimate team, and real life killing it for Bayern as well as the German national team. But on head to head, he's up to an 84. He's got plus two pace, the same shooting, one passing, um, two dribbling, one defending, and one physical. And actually, right now on Ultimate Team as well, has got an 84 in form card, an 86 second in form, and an 87 team in the group stage. And because his base card will go up to an 84 potential, it does mean his 84 in form would probably go to an 85 or an 86. And I'm pretty sure as well, all the informs on top of that, they also get boosts. Then we've got Nicholas Otamendi, the Man City centre back, and to be fair, I'll warn you already, there are a lot of Man City players featuring in this video. There obviously could be more as well, um, but City so far have been outstanding in pretty much every aspect. And currently on head to head, he's an 85, so plus two overall. Same pace, plus one shooting, plus a two passing. He's also got uh, plus three dribbling, plus one defending, and plus one physical. And just like Joshua Kimmich, he does have two inform cards, one being an 85, um, which should technically change as well, and an 86 second in form. Jordi Alba from Barca is up next, up to an 87 on head-to-head -head from an 85. And again, rightly so, as it is with pretty much every single one of these players. But he's got the same pace, the same shooting, plus two passing, same dribbling, uh, plus one defending, and the same physical. So on card, not crazy boost whatsoever. Uh, but this week, in fact, I believe he's in Team of the Week with an 86, which should go to an 88. And another one to watch, by the way, not a one to watch card, but a card to watch for Jordi Alba um, is his Footmas card. If you've done that during the Footmas promo, you could be in for a nice surprise. Then we have one of the most informed players right now in world football being Mohamed Salah from Liverpool. Got a crazy amount of goals past the 30 mark all competitions already and currently is 83 rated on Ultimate Team. But on head to head, he's got some huge upgrades. So up to an 85, um, again from an 83. The same pace, plus six shooting, plus two passing, plus one dribbling, no changes to the defending, but plus nine physical. And the crazy thing for him is the fact that his in-game stat changes are absolutely huge, by the way. Um, on head to head, like plus 15 long shots, I think it is, plus 15 strength, it's going to affect a lot of inform cards. And one thing that does put a lot of people off using Mohamed Salah initially on Ultimate Team this year um, is his two-star weak foot. On FIFA 17, he had four-star, four-star, but this year, it's two-star, four-star. Now, I'm hoping the EA do look at that because in real life, his weak foot isn't fantastic, but he's not awful with it. And has got a couple of goals to his name with his right foot. A player is hardly used on FIFA 18 is going to be David Silva, but the reason I put him in this video is because right now on Ultimate Team is 87 rated, and again, his stats are really not too great. But on head to head, he's up to an 89. 
He has got a couple of inform cards as well, but his stat changes are plus two shooting, uh, same passing, plus two dribbling, plus two defending, and plus one physical. And another Man City player is going to be KDB, Kevin De Bruyne. And of course, in real life, I'm probably the best playmaker in world football. And is now at 91 on head-to-head -head from an 89. So crazy boost as well. Uh, plus two pace, plus two shooting, or plus one shooting, sorry. Um, plus two passing, plus two dribbling, plus seven defending, and plus one physical. But that's not even the best thing about his upgrades. The fact that he's now five-star weak fit again from four-star, four-star. And he has got a lot of special cards this could affect, but the main one, of course, is Team of the Year card, currently 95 rated, I think, or 96. He's actually my camera right now on my team, so hopefully, again, gets the five star week for, gets a massive upgrade as well, because that defending, that's much better than most of his cards already. Another Belgian is going to be Chelsea's Eden Hazard, who at the moment is a 90 rated card on Ultimate Team, and I had to just like KDB, up to a 91. Now, potentially, he should be a central card because so far this season, I believe, um, has been mainly playing a central role. But still on head-to-head, -head, he remains the same position as a left wing, but he's got the same pace, a plus one shooting, plus one passing, a plus one dribbling, the um, same defending, and a plus two physical. And like a majority of his players so far, he has got a lot of special cards it could affect, and uh, some of them, to be fair, are also central cards. Next up is Juventus' Argentinian playmaker being Dybala, who at the moment is actually 88 rated on Ultimate Team, a big upgrade from last year. But on head he's up to an 89. Now, his stats haven't changed too much apart from his passing. That's plus three. Now, because the overall boost and also the passing changes, um, I'm pretty sure if he was to get an upgrade, his in-form cards would also change. Then we've got one that honestly surprised me quite a bit. Not the fact he doesn't deserve the upgrade, because he definitely does, being Messi from Barcelona. And of course, currently 93 rated, the second highest rated player on Ultimate Team, um, aside from icons just behind Ronaldo. And now he's a 94 on head to head as a centre forward. So it's like a throwback card to a couple years ago when he was playing central um, on Ultimate Team, by the way, of course, in real life now, back there and uh, pulling the strings fantastically. He's had top goal scorer in La Liga and top assists. And the changes are very, very minimal. In fact, it's plus one passing, plus one dribbling, and that's pretty much it. But the fact he's changed position, I really like that. And he has got a lot of special cards that could affect, but the main one, obviously, is the 98th team of the year. Could he go to a 99? We'll have to wait and see. And the final player in starting led I've chosen is going to be Harry Kane from Tottenham. Um, top goal scorer right now in the Premier League, and hopefully his form does carry over to the World Cup this summer. And he's 86 rated on Ultimate Team so far. Um, on head to head, I was on 88, so plus two overall, again, fully deserved. Plus three pace up to 74, plus two shooting, a plus five passing, plus one dribbling, same defending, and plus one physical. And potentially, he could have five star weak for, like in my opinion, he does deserve it, but on head to he's still four star weak for, but it's something we could potentially see. And because the overall boost and the upgrades he has got, I'm pretty certain all of his in full cards and special cards will definitely change, even maybe his team of the year, because the pace upgrade plus three, it could make me see like an 89 pace Hurricane team of the year, which would be nuts. And with the passing, the plus five, that's the main part. Then we go on to the bench and reserves, and these players I'm going through a little bit quicker, um, obviously not as high caliber players kind of thing as Messi and such, but still, to stay in the very first one's now an 87 on head-to-head -head with some very, very nice upgrades. Plus two diving, a plus one handling, a plus a zero kicking actually, plus three reflexes, plus seven speed, and plus three positioning. The lowest rate card of this video is going to be Skrinia, and the reason for it is because it's a plus six over on head to head from a 74 silver up to an 80 rated centre back. Now the pace is plus three. He's actually got less shooting on head to head right now, so I'm assuming it stays 43 as well. Uh, plus one passing, plus five dribbling, plus seven defending, and plus eight physical. Paul Pogba from Manchester United is up next, up to an 88 on head-to-head -head, uh, from an 87. Still got a five-star skill in his four-star week. For The reason it's quite interesting is because his upgrades aren't bad whatsoever. Uh, plus two pace, the same shooting, plus two passing, plus one dribbling, plus one defending, and also uh, the same physical. But he's a great player right now, even better on the head-to-head -head update, and it would affect his in-form cards if it was to happen. And it does mean potentially a second in-form card very close to all 80 club. Um, obviously, the pace upgrade is very nice, but the main thing letting him down is a defending stat. Napoli's Insignia is up next. Obviously, right now, Napoli are killing it in the league. Um, we're going for the Scudetta above Juventus. He's up to an 87 on head-to-head. -head. Uh, same pace, plus two dribbling, plus two shooting, plus two passing, plus one physical, and the same defending. And then we've got a player that surpassed 30 goals last night in the season, being Immobile from Lazio um, with a hat-trick in the Europa League. And maybe gets himself another special card being a man of the match one. Um, but he's up to an 85 on head-to-head, -head, so a plus three overall for an 82. He's got plus two pace, a plus two shooting, plus one passing, um, a plus four during, which is a big one, plus three physical, and same defending. 
And now a player features so, so much in foot champions being Kylian Mbappe from Paris Saint-Germain. I've done 84 in head-to-head, -head, plus three pace up to 93 pace, uh, same shooting, same passing, plus three dribbling up to 87, and the same physical and defense. So not crazy boost, but the pace and dribbling, that's quite a nice one. And Kavai is also upgraded to an 88, by the way. But in regards to this video, um, his stat changes are very, very minimal. So I was like, you know what? A lot of people are probably more interested in Mbappe. And now another player having a very, very good season is going to be Man City's Raheem Sterling, who at the moment sat behind Aguero, Salah, and also Harry Kane's top goal scorer. And up to an 84 in head to head from an 82, same pace, plus two dribbling, only a plus one shooting for like 15 league goals so far this season, um, plus one passing, and plus three physical. The most expensive January transfer being Felipe Coutinho to Barca from Liverpool is up next. Current 86, his life at Barca hasn't started off fantastic, but on to a team, he could go up to an 87 because on head-to-head, -head, he's been there for quite a while now. He has got two special cards so far this year. One is an informal card at Liverpool being 87, which could go up to an 88 as well. Um, the other ones are ones to watch 86 at Barca, which I think also gets an upgrade. Thomas Christian Eriksen has gone from an 87 to an 88, but pretty small upgrades here and there. Um, a plus two shooting, same passing, same pace, plus one dribbling, same defending, and the same physical. Man City's Fernandinho has gone from an 82 up to an 85, so a very big upgrade there. Again, fully deserving, and his team season card could well be all 80 club, which would be fantastic. So plus one pace, um, plus one shooting, plus one passing, plus one dribbling, plus three defending, and plus three physical. I'm pretty sure he's got an 84 rated in form card as well, which could get a massive upgrade on top of that and be one of the best centre mids in the Prem. And the final two then, first I've got Leon Bailey from Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. Uh, a plus five overall change for him. He's a 76 rated default card this year. Now it's an 81 on head to head because of a fantastic season so far. And potentially at some point on the line is that he might become part of the English national team and change nationality. Now that would be absolutely insane for real life, of course, being a great talent as well. Um, but in regards to alternate team, his team season could be absolutely insane and it would also be brilliant for hybrids. But his stat changes are going to be plus one pace, plus five shooting, plus four passing, plus one physical, same defending, and plus four dribbling. Has got a couple of informed cards, which again could receive big upgrades. And the final one is a pretty big one. For the simple fact, he's gone from an 80 to an 83. He's obviously a 6 foot 3 player. But he's now got four star skill with four star weak on head to which makes him even better uh, than Milinkovic Savic from Lazio. He's got the same pace about him, plus four shooting, plus five passing, plus two dribbling, plus two defending, and plus one physical. And those stat boosts alone can make his 85 rating in form card absolutely unreal, unplayable. And his price right now is obviously very, very high. It could go even higher. But that, guys, is going to be it for today's video. So, as always, if you enjoyed it, show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome, greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, make sure to press the subscribe button for more and press the notifications tab next to it to receive an alert every single time I upload a video. If you missed my previous video, it down below in the description box and the comment section below. What players you really hope to see get a ratings refresh upgrade today on FIFA Ultimate Team? So, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.